Hi everyone, hope you all are fine. In this video, we are going to study Al Ghazali. Abu Hamid Muhammad ibn Muhammad Al Ghazali was born at the a city of Persia. He received a good traditional education first at Jojam and then Nishapur. If we wish to place Al Ghazali within a history of Islamic philosophy, we must make some preliminary remarks. The most obvious starting point is that Al Ghazali did not consider himself a philosopher nor like to be. His book Maqasidul Falsafa proved him a philosopher. Ilham, true knowledge is the consequence of illumination of a divine inspiration. He says when God takes care of the heart, the breast lightens and the mystery of the spiritual realm is revealed and the veil of error vanishes and the reality of divine things shines in the heart. Once the heart becomes the owner of truth, the mind then obtains certainty. Ghazali wrote Tofatul Falsafa, the incoherence of the philosophers against philosophy, and proved that philosophers are unable to prove the religious truth from a theoretical point of view. Ghazali keeps religion and philosophy well separated. Method The most important thing about Al Ghazali's system of thought is its method, which may be described as that of courage to know and the courage to doubt. He says all kind of knowledge should be investigated and nothing should be considered dangerous or hostile. For himself, he said that he had embarked on the open sea of knowledge right from his adolescence, setting aside all craven poison. Divine Word He explained about cosmological triad of the Divine Word, Alam al makhlukat the Celestial Word, Alam al jabrut and the Material Phenomenal Word, Alam al mulk wa shahada runs closely parallel to that of Plotinus consisting of the universal mind, the universal soul and matter. The soul is a mirror in your mind by the divine spark reflecting the qualities and even the essence of God. Not only are men's attributes, says Al-Ghazali, reflection of God attributes, but the mode of existence of men's souls affords an insight into God's mode of existence. Knowledge of the self is the key to the knowledge of God, for so is the often quoted tradition. He who knows himself knows his Lord. Al-Ghazali adds, both God and soul are invisible, unconfined by space and time, and outside the categories of quantity and quality, nor can the ideas of shape, color, or size attach to them. Self He said that man can change from the state of insinuating self, al-nafs al-amara, to the state of the self at peace, al-nafs al mutmainna through a good deal of conscious struggle and deliberate effort necessarily suggests that he is free in his will. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, do share it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.